today's video, I am going to showcase our starter kits. So whether you are new to scrapbooking or even a seasoned scrapbooker who just wants to catch up on photos, maybe you're about to attend a crop or a retreat, these layouts are excellent starting points. And it comes with everything you need except the adhesive and your photos. You're also able to add extra embellishments, 3D foam tape, whatever it is that you would like to make it your own. I will be showcasing the starter kit that is on sale right now, but I'm also going to show you the starter kit that debuted August 1st in our brand new 2022-2023 core catalog. Here is a look at the starter kit that is on sale right now. You get an album, you get a pen, and you get one adhesive, and then you get these two two-page layouts. I'm going to be showcasing this one. I thought it kind of had a back-to-school vibe, and so I thought that would be fun since kids are getting ready to go back to school. So in each kit, you get the fully color illustrated guide, and then on the back, it shows you the layouts and then it also walks you through any tips or tricks that you might need when assembling the pages. You also get sticker sheets and die cut sheets that are clearly labeled which layout they go to. And then you also get memory protectors. So it makes it really easy for you to finish your layouts, put them in the memory protectors, and then put them in your album. The die cuts punch out really easily and I usually just punch all of those out and then set them aside. As far as the stickers go, I usually like to trim along this dark line that signifies which layout the stickers go to and that just keeps it a little more manageable for peeling those stickers off and attaching them. So we need layout one, so I'm going to keep this one out and then put this one aside. Your kit also comes with photo place card holders. This is if you were going to just make up a whole bunch of layouts and add your photos later. It also comes with photo mats, and the instructions will tell you which ones go with which layout. Each kit also comes with pre-printed layouts, so you are not paper piecing all these together. So here is a look at this one. Again, it's got the faux stitching and then it's got the chalkboard look behind it. Again, super simple, especially if you are starting out and want to find a quick kit to start your scrapbooking journey with. So I've laid out my layout bases and this is how it is shown in the instruction guide. So with this big photo mat on the left and then the smaller lagoon on the right. Now I am going to kind of change up my photo selections. You can see here there's three three by fours and then a four by six landscape. And instead of only having two, I'm going to be creating a grid. So I'm going to put these here and then these here. Now why I chose the order is that these are both by the trees before they went to school and then these are them at their schools about to walk in. He is facing that way and so I need something to stop the flow of the layout to the left. Remember I want these layouts to come together and then she is facing this way. So by them facing each other it's keeping these two layouts contained. Now the instructions have these photo mats as well. So I'm thinking that I want to maybe mat opposite photos. So we're gonna see how this looks right quick before I tape anything down. And I know I mentioned in my intro that the only thing you need to provide is adhesive. The starter kits actually come with adhesive. I showed you that in the catalog earlier. So they actually come with adhesive. Um, this one layout, it probably would be enough. If you're going to scrapbook more than this, then you might need to pick up an extra tape runner. So I'm liking that right there. And then remember that the kits come with photo placeholders. And I prefer these, even though I already know my photos that I'm going to use, I prefer 
trimming my photo slightly smaller than three by four. So these photos are two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And you can see there that by matting this on that photo placeholder, then I get this white mat around it. And then when you put it on these colorful mats, it just makes it pop. Now there is no reason why I need to mat these because that background is already white. So I have moved that right layout off my mat just for a little bit so I can kind of work with this left one. So I've just applied tape adhesive to the back of this photo and then I'm going to do the same with this photo and mat it on that placeholder that it comes with. You want to make sure it really doesn't matter um, adhesive that you choose. I personally find that glue adhesive like glue stick, um, it doesn't really hold um, very well. So if you were to look at your albums in a couple of years, that glue stick basically would be null and void and you don't want that. Also liquid adhesive, if you're from an area where liquid adhesive is the only thing available, then by all means use that. But I find that sometimes liquid adhesive warps the page because you're adding a lot of moisture to the elements. So I'm just going to get this photo of my son adhered to this last mat. So I've just added a tiny bit of adhesive on the back of these photos just to kind of serve the purpose of keeping it where I want it until I decide where all my stickers and stuff like that are going to go. So I'm just going to tack these in place as well as the other little three by fours and then we can take a look at the die cuts and the stickers. So back to the instruction guide, you can see here, it's got some banners off to the left of this big piece, and then it's got some banners up at the top. Being that I pretty much filled this photo well right here, and I'm going to have a lot of space on my right layout because I only have that one photo, I believe I'm going to save these banners and put them over here to the right and then I'm going to take this cluster and I'm going to move it right here. And that is the beauty of being able to make these layouts work for you and your photos. Again, an excellent starting point. So you can see here, we do have some stickers. Um, it looks like this tiny one right here and this sticker are going to go with the banners up at the top. So not only does it give you tips and tricks, but the photos are very detailed. So by this photo, I can tell that the blue, the Capri, is glued down. The yellow sticker is right beside it. And then you've got the candy apple sticker. And then these two are up over it. And you can tell because you can see the full banners on these two, the lagoon and the graph paper. And I'm also going to pull out some 3D foam tape from my stash to use on those two banners. So I'm going to speed this process up just a little bit, keeping in mind that I'm actually reversing the order of the banners that are on the Fully Color Illustrated Guide. I do get a little confused here in just a second and I have to peel some of that 3D foam tape off, but all is good in the end. And this is also a perfect time to remind you, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications. And if you're liking this video, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment. It helps YouTube show you more videos of the same, and it helps my little channel out in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and really tack these down. I did add 3D foam tape to the back of these two photos that are not matted and that's going to allow me to stick some of those stickers and die cuts in behind the photo just to add dimension. So we've got all of that glued down and then the next thing is per the instruction guide you can see this little title right here. Now even though I've kind of flipped my uh, layouts as far as the banner, I definitely want to keep that on this page because it is all about documenting their first and last days of school. So it has it like this. I think I'm going to switch it up and actually have it like this. Again, this is going to be adhered using 3D foam tape. 
And this little element I actually cut in half because I believe I'm going to use one up here. So you can see I just tucked that underneath that 3D foam tape. So I just tucked it there. It is glued directly to my project. And then now I can take off the backing from this 3D foam tape and I can adhere this. And I'm going to again overlap these just a tad. And then there are some centers. So these little things, I am going to also cut it in half and I'm just going to cut it directly on the sticker sheet. It's going to make it really easy to peel off. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to get it adhered down. Just going to rotate this right quick. And again, just tuck that under and makes it look like it was meant to be. So this other one I'm going to put up here. Again, same concept. This photo is pop dotted with 3D foam tape. And then I'm going to take the other half of this circle and I'm going to place it right there. So now it's time to bring in the right side of the layout. And I'm going to go ahead and mat this photo on this four by six photo placeholder. Again, I trimmed my photo slightly smaller than the four by six. So we've got this, I do have 3D foam tape on the back of it, but I'm not going to take the backing off quite yet until I figure out what I'm going to do. Now remember these pennants I want off to the right side. So let's bring that instruction guide back and you can see here that it looks like the graph sticker will go down first and then the Sundance, then the candy apple, and then these two will be on top. So before I put the other pennants on, I think I am ready to go ahead and get this adhered down. Again, you just wanna peel the backing off. Everything will be linked. Everything that I'm using here will be linked, even the anti-static pouch that I use to take the stickiness off the sticker. So again, about a quarter of an inch above the lagoon and a quarter of an inch below. Okay, and then now we are ready to adhere down this pennant. Again, this one is the lagoon die cut and I've added 3D foam tape. And I am just going to butt that up against my photo. And probably right there. And then I'm going to take this colorful sticker and I am not going to use 3D foam tape on it. I'm just going to kind of tuck it up underneath here like that. So we've got this die cut pennant. We've got a sticker pennant. And then we still have this thing that matches the other one. Again, I'm going to do much like I did on the left side and go ahead and cut this in half. And I believe I'm going to put it right here. Let me not glue that down just yet. So I'm going to probably put it right there and have it overlap this candy apple just a bit. And I'm going to save that one for right now. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. So the other things on this sticker sheet, again, that will go on the center of that here in just a second. You've got these pennants, you've got this bold stripe, and then you've got these little journaling uh, strips, and then you've got some journaling strips right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down, and I'm going to use just regular liquid adhesive. Now the reason I don't mind using liquid adhesive on these is they're really small. It's not the back of my photos. And then just run it along top. And then I'm going to trim off the little rope places that hang off. So probably going to put it right there. You could also use 3D foam tape to adhere this to give it a lot of dimension. And once that dries, I'm gonna trim those off right there. So before I decide where the rest of the stickers and the die cuts are gonna go, I'm gonna bring both layouts back into frame and that way we can kind of look at balance. 
So you see here, I have two things going on up here. I have this document today, and then of course I have the um, little pennants or the stars. I actually think I am going to gently peel this one up and I'm actually going to put that Sundance one over here. and the other blue one over here. And that's just going to separate those two colors, especially since I'm not really sure if I'm going to use the other half of this one yet. So because I have these two up at the top, I definitely need those patterns down toward the bottom. There is this sticker right here, and on the instruction sheet, it actually has it along the bottom of the right side. I don't want that because I already have pennant shapes up here. So I'm going to use it over here on the left side. Just going to peel that up and I'm going, going to place it directly underneath these photos like that. So now can you see how that created a triangle with those pennants and those patterns? So I think I'm going to use, here's the story over here and I think I'm going to remove the sticky using my anti-static pouch just on the left side and then add some 3D foam tape and that way the right side will stick directly to this little document today part. Now not only do I kind of want it in the middle of today but I definitely want to see some of this little pattern this little bar that's going across I definitely want to frame this little sentiment by leaving just a little bit up there and then the next thing is you can see that we have that same capri color and it just says noted 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 so I am going to take this and it is going to go underneath here and I am going to center it. Hopefully that is center enough to the naked eye. Centered. And then I'm going to take these little journaling strips. Now these journaling strips are something that's only been exclusive to these um, layouts, to these cut above layouts. But in our 2022-2023 catalog, we actually have them now in a full package and we have quarter inch, three eighths inch. We have all these different sizes and they're just super handy to just um, adhere down to your layout and then you can handwrite your journaling. Handwriting is so important. I'm gonna offset this one off to the left for the same purpose of these photos facing in. If I offset it right here, it would make it look like it was kind of ongoing. So I've got those journaling and then the only sticker I have left is this one. I have this pennant, which is the same pattern over on the right. So I want to put it somewhere on this layout right here. I'm gonna have to think on that. So I'm gonna put it back here on this sheet. And then now let's decide wherever that went. Let's decide about this other um, Sundance. Found it. So I originally think down here, you know, because you've got opposites. But then if you look over here, it makes it where it's directly across from that one. And I don't want that one. So I'm going to move it up just a little bit. I don't want it directly across from that one either. And the only other place I could put it would be down here. Nope, I don't like that. So I think I'm going to put it up here. Just using tape adhesive. Again, not really center of the photo, but not straight across from this one. And then I'm going to use the other half of this little center that I cut and we're just going to place it right there. I kind of hid, it, it's got a star in it, but I hid the star on all the other ones. So that's basically what I'm making sure when I adhere it down, that you can't see the star on any of them. And so now again, we have this last piece. So I feel like let's cut it in half. 
and I feel like it's going to go best down here and just put it flush but get it to where it kind of breaks up that stitching yes so I'm really liking that okay so I think we did we used all the stickers we used all the die cuts the only thing left to do is just turn this one over and trim that and that is my layout I will add my journaling here and then maybe just a couple of other embellishments from my stash right there as well as the date now keep in mind you still have this whole other layout to do it is included in the starter kit as well as the album a journaling pen and some adhesive so now I want to take a look at the brand new core catalog and our new starter kit so on page three, you can see that we have the scrapbooking and then we also have a card making one. If you are a card maker, this would be perfect. It's along the same lines. Everything is pre-cut either by stickers or die cuts. And all you need is um, adhesive. And it actually comes with, if you get the starter bundle, it comes with adhesive, a black ink pad, one of our mini ink pads. It comes with a clear acrylic block it comes with this stamp set that you can use over and over and over again. And then it comes with the card pieces as well as the envelopes and the chamois. So let's take a look at this scrapbooking starter bundle. Again, you're going to get the um, album, you're going to get adhesive pen block, and then this one actually comes with, um, you get to choose either this as your starter or this. If you choose this layout, it will come with the alphabet stamp that you see there. Or if you choose this one, it's going to come with that stamp set. And so let me show you, I have this starter kit, or actually I think I have both of them. So I'm gonna pull those out. And then I'd also like to point out that you do not in the new one, because this one is not on sale, you do not have to, add, uh, you do not have to order the bundle. So if you wanted to order the bundle that is on sale right now to get the album, then you can come back and you can just purchase these um, layout kits. Okay, so here is a look at that kit. It is the same elements. The only difference if you just purchase the kit and not the bundle, it's not going to come with your memory protectors. So here is that fully color illustrated guide. Here are your photo placeholders and your photo mats. Here is your sticker sheet. Here is your die cut. And here is that gorgeous pattern paper or patterned um, layout base that's already printed on this. There is no piecing this together. I just love the textures that these pre-printed layout bases have. And again, you will have the instructions to adhere everything down and assemble as shown, or you can do like I did and kind of do your own thing. There are some close-ups of the layout that I just made. And then also I will leave links down below, not only to this starter kit special, but as well as to my website where you can go check out the other Cut Above kits, the Craft With Heart subscription, as well as all the tools that I used here today. And don't forget that the starter kits are on sale. You could save 20% by purchasing the starter kit. Again, I'll leave that linked down below. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share my channel or even share this video with some more of your paper crafting friends. And then as always, if you aren't already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video. Thanks so much and have a wonderful week.